Professor Ashit Sharmak, the first question goes to uh, Brother Ayman Azlan. Okay, Ayman. Oh. Yes, I am. Man. Yes, I am. Sorry, relax, yeah. Nowadays, men and women have their own contribution to society, right? So having different backgrounds and different cultures, like uh, some from Islamic uni, some from uh, you know, normal uni, some from uh, religious background, family and everything. Um, how should we manage the friendship between men and women without crossing the boundary? Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. That's a good question. Broken English? Yeah? Okay. Sure can, uh. That's a good question. Uh. <laughs> no. It goes something like this. I am very active with the Muslim Student Association at my university in Canada. And it is the biggest club on campus, no joke. In Canada, University of Toronto, a non-Muslim campus, the biggest club on that campus is MSA, Muslim Student Association, and I am a part of that. And we are so active with events, with uh, campaigns, with all different services we provide to the Muslims. So yeah, you will interact with the sisters and you will interact with brothers. We have meetings, we have a lot of different activities. So how do you, how do you make sure that the interaction is within boundaries? If you came here for a fatwa, I'm not gonna give you one. We're not the people you should seek if you're trying to get a fatwa from. What I am gonna give you, I, I'm gonna give you two guidelines for you to follow. The first one is always check your intention. It sounds cliche, but it's so true. It is so true. What is the reason for you to interact with that person, with him or her? What is the reason? Check your heart. What is the reason for you to interact with that person? That's the first guideline. And that's something that you, you should always check anytime and every time you do something. The second one is always listen to your heart. I'm not talking about the song. Listen to your heart. No. <laughs> listen to your heart because sometimes the heart can detect when you are about to cross the boundary. Sometimes the heart can sense it. You have this feeling inside that, that something's wrong here. You have that. So listen to your heart and beware of your mind. Because sometimes when you have that feeling, you know, this is, this is not right, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. And then the mind comes in and says, nah, it's okay. Nah, it's alright. You're, you're not doing anything wrong. You see, you see what I'm saying? So be careful of how the mind justify things. Be careful how the mind justify things. And listen to your heart. The Prophet said, take fatwa from your heart. A heart that is, that is relatively, that relatively pure will have that sixth sense that if you're about to do something wrong, it knows. So listen to your heart. If you have Iman in your heart, inshallah, it will tell you. Alarm will go off. So pay attention to it. Those are the two guidelines. Allahu Akbar.